got pregnant at 13. My mom, she got deported two years ago. Sometimes I cry because it's, it's just too much tension. We were attacked at this place called Buddha. The first night, I killed 14 people. The number of women and girls who are raped and tortured and killed in war-torn areas around the globe is literally beyond comprehension. My in-laws turned against me. They tortured me, almost killed me. I was just so frustrated, full of misguided anger. I didn't know where to direct it to. Sorrow, anxiety, traumatic stress, depression, hate, anger, rage, fear start to lift away. Life just gets better and better and better. But when it's calm and still, even what struggle becomes beauty. I used to say, I'm going to get my grades up, I'm going to do better. But yeah, it was just what I said. It never happened until I started meditating. I think every barrio, ghetto school in America has to have the fundamental right of having an opportunity to do this type of thing. Stay regular in your meditation. Don't let anybody take it away. And you will unfold your full potential. I think this is what people need. They don't need high-minded talk so much as results. The amazing thing about Transcendental Meditation is the very well-established research showing that the technique impacts things that we didn't think were changeable. The initial research on the effects of Transcendental Meditation in treating PTSD offers so much hope, better than many things being tried at far less a cost. I'm meditating uh, 37 years. All that feeling of heaviness, I could feel it melt away. It was absolutely transformational. I had a lot of problems in my life. And Tim came into my life and gave me like this open door to something that I never knew it would be. In those days, I used to cry too much. But now, they, even the tears are holding. I'm great. <laughs> Real change for the good truly begins within.